Hello friends and welcome to the Creative Connors Stagehand Pro RS485 Communication Upgrade Tutorial. In this video, we'll be showing you how to properly install the two resistors provided in your upgrade kit. This is the tutorial for the Mitsubishi A800 VFD. If you have the A700 model, there's a link to the appropriate tutorial video in the description below. So let's get started. I've already disconnected my Stagehand Pro from all power laid it down on the large permanent side and removed the side panel. I've gathered the items I'll need for the installation. A Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and the two 680 ohm resistors that were included with the upgrade documentation. So first I'm going to unplug my Cat5 cable from the VFD, tuck that out of the way, and then I'm going to loosen the two screws in the bottom portion of the panel. Uh, these screws are nice, they have little retainers on them so you can't lose them inside the enclosure. They won't come out all the way. Pick up from the bottom and set it aside. And there's one more screw for the top portion of the panel. Loosen that and gently pull up and set that aside. So now you want to look for the communication block which is all the way at the top of the VFD. This is where we're going to be installing our resistors. All right, now that we are zoomed in a little bit more on our terminal block, we are going to be adding our resistors from VCC to TXD plus and from GND to TXD minus. These little tabs are for spring terminals, so if you depress them, that will open them up and you won't have to worry about bending the little tiny legs on your resistors. So the first resistor will go into VCC on one side. Make sure it seats all the way down in there. And then give it a gentle tug just to make sure it's captured properly. The second leg will go into TXD plus. And a gentle tug that's in there nice and secure. So our second resistor goes from GND to TXD minus. And those are both in there secure. So I want to make sure that there's no bare metal from the resistors that can interfere with each other and that they're in there nice and secure. They're not going to go anywhere. And they are. The last thing I'm going to check on this terminal block before I close the VFD cover is that my discrete wiring to RXD plus and minus are in the correct orientation. RXD plus should have this plain brown wire and RXD minus should have the brown with white stripe. If these happen to be swapped, press the terminals to release the wires and flip flop them. And that's it for that installation. So I'm going to return my VFD cover. It'll snap down into place. I can screw in the one screw on the top portion. Place the second lower half in place and tighten down those screws. And now I will return the Cat5 cable to the VFD. And that's it for the installation. I can remove my screwdrivers and any other foreign materials I may have put inside, return my side panel, and then hook up my VFD and proceed with the parameter portion of the upgrade. I hope this tutorial was helpful in helping you to make it move.